Good morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mirjana Povic. Uh, I work as a professor of astrophysics in Ethiopia, and I will summarize on behalf of my uh, colleagues uh, the SciGirls uh, project, which is uh, focused on empowering uh, girls in science through astronomy, but girls coming from remote and rural areas in Ethiopia. There are five facts related with the motivation behind the project. The first one is that the gender equality is fundamental for achieving all other sustainable development goals. The second is the gender gap that we still have in science worldwide. And when we come to Ethiopian context, only about 13% of all scientists are females. The third fact is that astronomy is one of the emerging sciences in Africa and also very important for uh, social economical development of the continent. The fourth fact is related with uh, the experience that we got uh, through the Stanford Girls in Ethiopia initiative by interacting with the secondary school girls uh, in Addis, in the capital uh, of Ethiopia, and finding the real need of uh, uh, interacting and bringing more awareness about STEM uh, in rural, among the girls in rural remote uh, areas, especially because 80% of the um, uh, population in Ethiopia lives in remote and rural um, uh, uh, places. So main objectives behind SciGirls uh, are to promote STEM through astronomy and its, its multidisciplinarity by organizing the strong cap capacity building workshop following the activities after and uh, bringing the new advocates of STEM um, uh, among the trained uh, secondary school girls and female teachers that are coming from remote and rural areas. Um, so uh, focusing the main objectives are to focus on human capacity building, to improve the communication leadership skills of girls, understanding for us better the scenario about the challenges that the girls are facing and giving more awareness about job opportunities. So we organized in December the, the, the six days uh, training um, in Addis. Uh, you can see here the banner that for 10 days uh, was on the streets of Addis promoting this message, how much it is important to have more girls in STEM for uh, Ethiopian um, uh, growth. So we selected 30 girls and their female uh, science teachers coming from different rural areas of Ethiopia. It was really not easy to bring uh, the participants to Addis, uh, but we found amazing motivation. Some of them traveled for al almost uh, two days to reach capital. And for the majority of the participants, it was for the first time that they went out of their community and actually came to the, to the capital. So there was a list of selection criteria and we had uh, uh, the principal languages Amharic and English, where we when English was used, the Amharic translation was also there. And we had a very diverse uh, team of uh, the organizers in terms of age, gender, profession, uh, trainers, and then a very diverse program and quite uh, intensive program. So the first few days were dedicated to introduction to astronomy, importance of astronomy for development, introduction to space science, big data, and how astronomy is related with the big data science, and then the stargazing activities like you can see uh, here. We also had uh, small uh, experiments uh, using a NASA program uh, uh, for teachers. One full day was uh, focused on small research projects where we divided all participants into six groups and they had to manipulate with the real astronomical data, uh, use uh, the uh, uh, learn a top cut and how using top cut they can represent the data, make plots. Uh, and uh, finally, all the girls presented their results. Um, uh, we also organized several visits to the Institute and Tot Observatory, the new science museum and the first science museum in all Ethiopia, and then the very new public library that is also the first one in uh, Addis. The last day was dedicated to uh, talks about the importance of STEM, job opportunities in STEM. Uh, we discussed with the participants the educational material that we are preparing for them uh, to help them with the uh, activities after the workshop. And we also had the open discussion, as you can see here, about the, the women and girls in science and also what are the challenges that the girls and female teachers are facing in uh, different uh, parts of uh, Ethiopia. Uh, we developed the evaluation form uh, and uh, we got a very positive feedback. More than 90% of all participants evaluated training as excellent opportunity um, and um, 
Uh, they also we got also got a very positive uh, attitude toward the uh, the day that was uh, focused on research projects because that was a very new experience for the participants. Most more than ninety percent uh, um, uh, mentioned that Cygros uh, 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 training helped them to improve their knowledge, their skills. Uh, including communication skills, their knowledge about the importance of astronomy and STEM for society. And also they felt more uh, empowered um, um, as girls, as women, and more empowered to do science after the training. And all of them expressed the uh, intentions and motivation to become advocates of STEM. So uh, we are now working on improving the educational material by including the feedback that we got. We created a Telegram channel to stay in touch with the participants. We started getting the first feedback about the activities that the participants are uh, uh, carrying out, uh, transmitting the knowledge that they got through the workshop. So here you can see one of the activity with the girls in Volaita, uh, Soda region on the south. And we found with this training, we already knew uh, how much of the need is there to really reach the girls and teachers, uh, female teachers in rural areas. But with this, we found even, um, uh, I mean, our knowledge about it uh, uh, increased and we found that there are even more needs than what we thought. So we are really now planning uh, to do more activities this year. And finally, I would like to acknowledge the support of both OED, but also the Institute uh, uh, who both of them put half of the uh, funding for making the SciGirls uh, uh, training and project possible. Thank you very much.